Hi everyone. Through this class, we are going to study about bond Oppenheimer approximation and vibrational core structure of molecules. According to bond Oppenheimer approximation, total energy of a molecule is sum of its electronic energy, vibrational energy, and rotational energy. Therefore, E total is equal to E electronic plus E vibrational plus E rotational, which implies that electronic energy, vibrational energy, and rotational energies of a molecule are completely independent of each other. A change in total energy of the molecule can be written as delta E total equal to delta E electronic plus delta E vibrational plus delta E rotational. And here the unit is joule. And in terms of wave number or centimeter raised to minus 1, change in energy can be written as delta epsilon total equal to delta epsilon of electronic plus delta epsilon of vibrational plus delta epsilon of rotational. Now the unit is centimeter raised to minus 1. And electronic energy change is much greater than vibrational energy change. And this vibrational energy change is much greater than rotational energy change. And we can write delta epsilon of electronic is approximately delta epsilon of vibrational into 10 raised to 3. That is approximately delta epsilon of rotational into 10 raised to 6. The vibrational changes may produce a core structure and rotational changes a fine structure on the spectrum of electronic transition. We know that pure rotational spectra are shown only by molecules possessing a permanent electric dipole moment. And vibrational spectra requires a change in dipole during the motion. Electronic spectra are given by all molecules since the changes in electron distribution in a molecule are always accompanied by a dipole change. Therefore, homonuclear molecules like hydrogen or nitrogen which show no rotation or vibration rotation spectra do give an electronic spectrum. So from their electronic spectra, Rotational constants or bond vibration frequencies can be calculated. For vibrational core structure, we can neglect the rotational changes. Therefore, total energy of the molecule is sum of electronic energy and vibrational energy. And in centimeter raised to minus 1, we can write epsilon total as epsilon electronic plus epsilon vibrational. And substituting the value of vibrational energy, Total energy for the molecule, now we can write it as epsilon of electronic plus V plus half into nu bar E minus V plus half the all square into Xc into nu bar E. And the unit is centimeter raised to minus 1. Here V is known as vibrational quantum number and Xc the anharmonicity constant and nu bar E the oscillation frequency. As a convention, Lower electronic energy level is marked as epsilon double dash and upper electronic energy level as epsilon dash. And we know that in each electronic energy level, there will be number of vibrational energy levels. The vibrational energy levels in lower electronic energy level are marked as V double dash. And vibrational energy levels in upper electronic energy level are marked as V dash. When a molecule undergoes an electronic transition, every transition from V double dash to V dash has same probability. So if we consider all the transitions, then there will be very large number of spectral lines. Situation is considerably simplified if the absorption spectrum is considered from the electronic ground state epsilon double dash. We have already discussed that virtually all the molecules exist in lower vibrational state V double dash equal to zero. 
So here we can consider the transition starting from V double dash equal to zero. Conventionally, the transitions are labeled as V dash V double dash numbers. So we write the upper vibrational state first, then we we'll write the lower vibrational state. Suppose if there is a transition from lower vibrational level 0 to upper vibrational level 0, then it is marked as 0, 0 transition. If the transition is from lower 0 level to upper 1 level, then it is marked as 1, 0. If the transition is from lower 0 level to upper vibrational level 2, then it is marked as 2, 0. So, this set of vibrational lines, we can mark it as 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, etc. Such a set of transitions form a band. We call this as a band because under low resolution, each line of the set appears somewhat broad and diffuse. The band is particularly called a V dash progression because it increases by unity for each line in set. The vibrational cold structure of the band formed during electronic absorption from the ground vibrational state to higher vibrational state is shown here. Here this is the lower electronic energy level. It is marked as epsilon double dash. Upper electronic energy level is marked as epsilon dash. And we know that all the electronic energy levels it consists of number of vibrational energy levels. Lower electronic energy level, the vibrational levels are marked as V double dash equal to 0 level, V double dash equal to 1 level, V double dash equal to 2 level, V double dash equal to 3 level and so on. The upper electronic energy level epsilon dash, there are number of vibrational energy levels. They are marked as V dash equal to 0 level, V dash equal to 1 level, V dash equal to 2 level and so on. And in this vibrational level, we can see that when the vibrational quantum number increases, energy gap decreases. This is because here all the molecules are anharmonic in nature. And if we consider one transition from lower electronic energy level to upper electronic energy level, if the transition is from V double dash equal to 0 to V dash equal to 0, we get one spectral line due to this transition. And that spectral line, it is labeled as 0, 0 transition. If the transition is from lower V double dash equal to 0 to upper V dash equal to 1, it is labeled as 1, 0. If it is from 0 to 2, it is labeled as 2, 0. So next one as 3, 0, then 4, 0, 5, 0 and 6, 0 like this. And here we can see that when the frequency is less, here the gap between two spectral lines is large. At higher frequency side, gap decreases. So in this band, the lines are crowded at higher frequency side. The total energy change in each transition is equal to delta epsilon total that is equal to sum of electronic energy change and vibrational energy change. If the unit is in centimeter raised to minus 1, then this change in energy is equal to frequency of the spectral line. So frequency of each spectral line is equal to change in electronic energy that is higher electronic energy minus lower electronic energy plus the difference between vibrational energy levels that is higher vibrational energy level minus that of lower vibrational energy level. And in a particular band we can see half dozens of lines or more than that. And from the observation, we can find out the values of nu bar E, Xc dash and nu bar E double prime and Xc double prime. And here, this nu bar E double prime and Xc double prime, they are the frequency and the anharmonicity for the lower energy level. 
and nu bar e prime and x e prime they are the frequency and the anharmonicity corresponding to upper vibrational energy level so this information it is very important because such excited states may be extremely unstable and the molecule may exist in these higher energy levels for very short time so the band spectrum can tell about the bond structure and strength of such species 